Hey guys, how are you today? So I just want to come on really fast and give you guys a like just some clarity on some things. Um, I've been noticing that with the comments. I've been noticing that with just the emails and things like that um, to give you guys some clarity. Okay, so number one, let me tell you, you're not going to find out that you have herpes the next day. Like if you have sex with somebody the next day that you're having an outbreak. Very clear, it may not be that person, especially if it's a new person or things like that. Now, if it's a person you've been with for a long period of time, then that chance can be very highly, okay? But that's not guaranteed if you've never been tested for herpes, okay? So, most people are not tested for herpes, and I like to stress this because most people think like they're getting tested for herpes. If it's not on your test, when you see it, you don't see HSV-1 or HSV-2, then they did not test you for it. And mostly it's because your doctors will not test you for without having it basically they they want to do a culture and then they'll do a blood test to find out what type okay so with that being said most doctors will not test for it if your doctor tests for you test you for it at you're good. You're in good standing. So if you knew before you went into a relationship for a fact you didn't have anything and then come out and then you have this then your chances is this probably him okay or probably her. Okay, so I just want to clear that up. So I'm sure you've seen my video. I have herpes is what I learned. And you're thinking like, oh my gosh, she had an outbreak the next day. Then it has to be such and such because I know that's what you're trying to figure it out. And no, it was not the guy that I found out in college. It was six months before that. It was with a, a guy friend and I had sex with him around my birthday. I think it was my birthday or day after my birthday. And a week after he told me through Black Planet, <laughs> which we got Facebook now that kind of cleared it all up but anyway he told me on black planet that he had um a blister on his penis so with that being said i got tested that friday and it gave me a negative all right so with that being said you cannot get tested too early because most of you guys are running off and getting tested too early and it's giving you a negative and i'm gonna tell you the truth a lot of people are getting false negatives and that's not a good thing and you may hear your doctor always tell you come back and get tested later which you typically we will no not go get tested again because we don't want to go through the scare all over again but it's most important if you've just been exposed um and run off and get tested to go get tested again because it could be a false negative and you don't want to think that you're clean or think that you don't have anything and you really really do and i think that's happening to a lot of people as well um that's the main reason why I <coughs> They don't want us to get tested that much because um, you can get a new partner or your partner, um, it could have finally just developed in your partner and then all of a sudden you have it and then you run off. They get an outbreak, their initial outbreak, you run and you go get tested, but it hasn't developed in your body either. So it will say a negative and then like months later, then you have an outbreak, okay? And you'd be very upset with your doctor, but at the end of the day, your doctor's not going to get in trouble for it because they did their job, Um, and but we're just not aware that you you can get false negative so that's the main reason why they get they're really really anal about not getting testing us a lot which i believe they should at least test us once a year especially women for with our paps but that's something we're gonna have to vote for guys but at the end of that i think it just be best to do it once a year so at least every year you'll know where you stand um but most importantly not trying to figure out who did it i'm just gonna be honest with you so many people have it and i'll tell you the truth um most people who pass it on to other people have no clue they have it or they say they don't have any symptoms. I'm going to be honest with you guys. You do not. It's like being sick but don't have symptoms. I'm I'm saying you do have symptoms. You're just not aware of your symptoms. It could have, it may not have been itching or it could have been small itching. It could have been small tingling. It could have been small burning. It wasn't nothing unbearable that just wasn't unreal. So you just didn't trip about it or it looked like a hair bump or it looked like a scratch or it looked like a, a brazen or you looked like a cut. So you didn't trip about it um, because you shave or anything like that. So, or you play sports. So you wasn't thinking. Um, so I, I don't want you, I don't want you to believe like, oh, I didn't have any symptoms. We always have symptoms for everything. It just if you're not aware of what it is, you're not going to pay any attention or if it's stuff that you deal with all the time, you're not going to pay attention to it. So with that being said, you know, we we know, but we don't know because we just the, the stuff is so common is what we see. 
Um, so next thing I want to talk about is the whole thing of it's all your fault. And I've seen this comment on one of my things, so I want to address it. And I know that kind of bothers some of you guys if y'all ever seen it or heard it. Oh, it's your fault because um, you didn't wait to marriage and things like that. So it's your fault and you should know better and you should get tested together and all these things like that. Let me, let me address that, okay? So let's address it. Number one, most people do not wait to marriage. I wish they would. I did not do it. Me and my husband will wish that we should but we did not but in the end that we did not okay and I'm not gonna beat nobody up about it <laughs> if Jesus Christ is not gonna beat you up about it I'm not I am not a sinner I sin but I'm not a sinner if you're saved if you know what I mean cool but we're living in a world where people tell us all the time that you're a sinner saved by grace and I'm telling you that is a lie you're not a sinner you're saved you're saved, you just sin. And at the end of the day, we live in a world full of sin. We're going to sin. Um, we were born into it. So with that being said, you're not a sinner. So with that being said, God is not going to beat you up because you had sex with somebody. He's not going to beat you up this and beat you up that. I mean, he knew you was going to do these things beforehand. Um, so at the end of the day, hey, um, he already knew that. So even if before your marriage, after your marriage, you can still get herpes. It doesn't change um, anything. And most people think, you know, me getting in my marriage is going to be a safe place. Let me tell you something. Most people don't understand um, that they even have this before they even get into a marriage. Like I said, if you're getting tested, like they want to pull, if you were getting tested, you would know. But if you tell them to give you a full screening and at your doctor's office, a full screening does not include herpes or a full panel do not include herpes, then with that being said, you did not do what that person or quote unquote those people believe that you should have done. So at the end of the day, you did what you felt like was best. You got tested. You got your husband tested. You did everything you need to do. You guys thought you guys were safe and you wasn't because you wasn't aware. So at the end of the day, guys, if you really want to think about all the things that you hear or people want to say or think they know is right at the end of the day knowledge is power if you do not know you cannot protect yourself it's the same thing about taking a test if you don't know the information the chances of you failing is very high same for us the chances of getting herpes is very high because we are not aware of the information that is out there or the information is not being published for us to really see it or it's not out there in our face okay so the same way that hiv is if herpes was the same way i tell you the god darn truth a lot of people will prevent from getting it but it's not not like that it should but it's not so with that being said um don't take every people everybody's word to heart when they say you should have been married or you should have got tested or you're, you should have been smart enough to ask questions guys look we all do it at the end of the day, we all ask the questions, we all get the test, we all do these things, but without the knowledge of herpes, you will not, none of that will matter. None of it matters without knowing. So I just want to clear that up for a lot of people or a lot of people who think they know this type of life of living with this STD. You don't know any, you have no clue. And until you get to this side of the fence, I suggest you to really close your mouth on it um, because you don't really know. And I guess you may have some family and friends who have it, but you don't live their life. It's like me telling you about a situation you've been in and I haven't been in it. Uh, we're very judgmental. We want to say things about people and you don't understand what type of shame that you're putting them, people in um, who are living this lifestyle. My whole thing is if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. That's just my mindset on that because I have learned, I have spoken on situations and I'm not saying like I'm perfect. I have said, spoke on situations that I would never be in. I would never do that. I'd never be in that. I'd never do this and look where I am today and I'm in different situations and um, it humbled me and I feel like stay at a humble place. I understand if you want to say you know people want to say their two cents on things but my whole thing until you're in that situation understand each and every person's situation you will not understand will let you know people's truth with herpes is totally different from anybody else's truth okay a lot of you guys think oh they're promiscuous they're this they're that that's not true most of these people that you run into who have a um, herpes typically are in committed relationships long-term relationships things of that nature and they caught it from a mate so with that being said you're having sex with somebody that you care about you love um you've been dating or something like that and it happens so with that being said you can't say they're promiscuous because they're in a relationship so um i want to kill that stigma right now because so many people believe, oh, uh, you got to be out there doing everybody, but that's a lot. That, that's been a lot forever, and most STDs, most people are getting it from people that they care about and been in a relationship with, so let's kill that whole statement, thinking that you got to be all out here, because we know it's people who are working the 
they're in sex trafficking, forced to do it, or they're forced into prostitution, and they probably never had an STD, or they had just gonorrhea, chlamydia, uh, something like that, never had HIV, or they never contract HIV or herpes. So my whole thing is, and look at their lifestyle. You want to call them promiscuous? No, you cannot call them that because they're forced into a lifestyle they want to be in, or they felt like that was the only lifestyle that was okay for them at the time. So with that being said, I would really suggest you not judge people or judge any situation um, at all because you don't know you're not there um so you know just just want to say that for everybody even with us being in this situation we can't judge another person with another std or judge what is better for us to go through or whatever my whole thing is what you're going through right now is what you're supposed to go through right now and it's going to strengthen you because you're going to open your eyes to who you are it's going to open your eyes to love yourself unconditionally it's going to open your eyes to see who don't love you unconditionally and erase those people out of your life who don't care about you get rid of those guys who just want to have sex with you and for you to truly start to value yourself and really just become more aware of the things around you because to be honest we're just not aware enough um and it's not our fault and it is our fault at the same time but at the end of the day um knowledge is power and if you don't have the knowledge um then it happens you know and that's with any and i would stress that's with any situation if you don't know how to knowledge you you failed yourself or you failed the situation you can't do anything about it so i don't want y'all to think like oh my god it was so my fault blah blah, blah. i can do this i can do that I can do. look okay if you didn't know you didn't know okay and i always say that i didn't know i haven't sex with somebody that i knew very well knew him since i was 15 at that time i was turning 20 something years old so i had knew him a long time i would never think he'll put me in this situation and boom look what happened and i can tell you that's pretty much every girl's story on here they talked to somebody they known for all their lives so they've been in a relationship with their boyfriend for so many years and boom here um happened then you have those situations where people cheat and things like that but they you know forgive them and they move forward and boom hey this is what came with the situation of cheating so many different things so you just never know what the situation may be so don't think you can put people in a box people who have herpes you cannot put in a box you, you just can't put them in a box so that whole stigma thing we don't live up to that so if you think we do i'm sorry we do not um <laughs> just want to be very um truthful about that um so that's all I really want to talk about. I just want to address a couple of those things because I, I have noticed you guys been asking me those questions, same questions. I've been seeing comments and things like that. Um, and I just wanted to clear that up because most people think they know and they have no clue because I cannot address something that be going on with somebody else. I can't speak on it because I don't live their life. So I would really suggest a lot of people don't give off their opinions um thinking that they know something and they really don't um because they're not living a life okay so and just enough of somebody telling you is not enough because i know so many different situations based off people telling me but i still wasn't in it so i still didn't get the full feel of what was going on and things like that and i have heard a lot of situations so with that being said i still can't say anything about any even with me having herpes and talking about another girl who have it too i cannot speak on her situation because at the end of the day i wasn't in it all i can do is pull out her truth and let her hold on to our truth and that is what i'm here for i'm here to pull out your truth i'm here to kill the shame i'm here to get you to forgive yourself and love yourself again i'm here for you to understand that the kind of guys that you have in your life may not be good guys for you i want you to get to a point where you love yourself so unconditionally that you force everybody around you to love you unconditionally and if they don't if they love you based off conditions that you need to get rid of them and um this is what's going to teach you that um so Beside all that, if you need to talk to me, um, I do have my 45-minute session. I would love to talk to you. Like I told y'all once before, I have a goal of talking to 50, one of you ladies or guys here on the call, you know I mean, on the um, video. Y'all know me. I really like talking to the women. Um, but guys, y'all know I'm open to talk to you as well. Um, but that is open to you if you have a new diagnosis or old diagnosis and you are ready to really kick this thing of herpes and get it over with and just get over it. <laughs> I hate to say that word, but just to a point, it's like, I'm ready to be free and think and things like that. Then I would strongly suggest you get into the overcoming coaching. Um, and like I always tell y'all, it is an investment with that one. So it starts at $25 and it goes all up to 50. Um, so you can do weekly coaching, bi-weekly coaching, or monthly coaching. The only thing I do require you to do is to do at least four sessions with me. I say this because most of you guys, y'all contact me one time. 
And then you contact me week after week after week after week or day after day after day after day. And that's why I know that you need to talk to me. And that's why I know I, you need to do coaching. So if you've ever been in my inbox um, at this point, I'm going to force you to do coaching because you need it. Okay. And I know you need it. So that means you need me more one-on-one -on -one where you can really talk. You can really tell me the situation. I love talking behind the computer, but I'm telling you that that talking on the phone and even to a point with this culture, I'm going to be watching you. Y'all can see me. If you're in Atlanta, I'm going to meet up with you. We're going to talk to each other that's the beauty of being in Atlanta you get to see me um or we can do um google hangout or something like that where you can see me because I'm telling you that face to face make a heck of a difference and for you to really pour out your emotions and get the tears out and get everything out you can tell me your full story I'm not gonna lie I don't you know typing behind the computer sometimes you miss stuff or you don't want to make it so long because you don't think I'm going to read it I do read everything y'all say word for word for word okay um so with that being said, if you have already inboxed me, I will strongly suggest you go over to my website, um, www.overcomingstigma.com and go ahead and sign up for your coaching, sign up for the one that you feel like is for you. Just know that you do have to commit to four sessions, okay? So just make sure you're ready to commit to four sessions at that given time to do that. But um, if you do have a new diagnosis, you just came across me, you're ready to get, jump into the coaching after watching all my videos, then come on, I'm ready to help you. That's my whole per purpose of being here is to help you get over that um, and to really deal with that shame because I'm telling you guys, the only way to get over shame is to truly get to the root and the bit of it and the written a bit of it is the fact that you are allowing other people to put that on you. And a lot of us say, I don't care what people think. Yeah, you do. And if you didn't, then you wouldn't be where you are today. So with that being said, I love you guys. I appreciate everybody on here. Um, I'll let you guys know if you sign up for my email listing, then um, you have the opportunity to purchase my ebook for $10 starting tomorrow. So you let me know, um, just go over to my um, website and sign up for my email listing for that. Um, hmm. What else? Yeah, you sign up for my email listing. You have the opportunity to do that. And then the other thing is my um, book comes out on October 15th. So you can pre-order your book um, today. Um, if you stay in another country, please let me know that I would suggest you inbox me and let me know that so I can get the proper um, proper link to you because I do have um, some different links for you guys. Um, if you're in the state, then I'll mail it to you. If you're out of state, then I have my warehouse send it to you. So you just let me know that ahead of time. So ship me an email and let me know that you're out of the country so I can make sure to still give you that book and it get mailed to your home. I just want to make sure everything gets to you properly. Um, so I just want to tell you guys, I love you guys. I appreciate everything. I thank you for all the thank yous. I thank you for all the inboxes. I truly am enjoying the comments, everything. Y'all know I'm really serious about what I do. I love what I do and I truly want to help you. So if you're ready to get that help, please reach out to me um, and we will get started. Talk to you soon. Bye.